Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying we have only eighty to hundred harvests left, that means approximately forty-five to fifty years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing forty percent less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy, in most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. First twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil. As a part of this, <laughs> I'm sixty-five and I'm riding thirty thousand kilometers a lone motorcycle journey thirty thousand kilometers across twenty-four nations to activate support from the citizenry to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. So it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can, be a part of this and let us make it happen. Soil is one of the most fascinating and little understood aspects of our planet. Soil is not just some dirt that we walk on. Did you know that a handful of soil has more microbes in it than there are people on the entire earth? Without these microbes, plants, animals, you, me and every human being would not be able to live. That's because if plants have to grow, they need to get various nutrients from the soil. But plants are not capable of getting many of these nutrients from the soil on their own. It is those billions of microbes that capture these nutrients from the soil and pass them on to the plant's roots. So plants can live only if there are lots of microbes in the soil. And animals and human beings can live only if there are plants to provide us food. But around the world, a disaster is happening. The soil microbes are dying. This is happening because the microbes need organic matter to eat. Organic matter means the leaves and the branches that fall to the ground from the plants and also the waste from the animals. But because there are no more animals on farms and all the stuff falling from plants is cleared away by farmers, microbes have nothing to eat so they die. Because of this, plants are not able to grow well. And if plants suffer, we are next. So having enough organic matter in the world's soil, it's super important if we want to live well. This is what the Save Soil Movement is all about. We are asking our governments to save soil by putting enough organic matter into the soil. Then the microbes, plants, 
animals, human beings and all life can live well on the rich soil. You started Conscious Planet to protect soil. Could you please share the guidelines for the students to be a part of this? So how can you participate? See, we are living in a democratic nation. Most part of the world, almost the entire world except a few nations, are all living in democratically elected governments ruling those countries. So being a democratic nation, the most valuable thing that you have is your vote and your voice. You still don't have a vote, but you still have a voice. In a democracy, the most important thing is a people's voice. So I want you to use your voice. The soil is not our property. It's been given to us like this from previous generations. We have to give it in a living condition to the next generation. We cannot kill it and give it dead soil. Dead soil means all life is gone. So leaving the soil alive for future generations is very important. When I say future generation, I'm talking about you. Every responsible scientist in the world is saying, by 2045, we will be producing forty percent less food than what we are producing today and our population will be 9.3 billion people. So with forty percent less food, that many people, it's not a world where you want to live. I want you to visualize this. Whatever is looking like civilization, all the developments that have happened in the world, I want you to imagine tomorrow, let us say there is no food in Coimbatore city for people to eat. There is no food in the shop, there is no food in the hotel, there is no food in the home. What do you think will happen? Everything will break down in the society. Right now, United Nations agencies are predicting civil wars across the world by 2045 because food shortages will be like that. But we can turn this around now. So what is it that you can do? You must use your voice. How to use your voice? Shall we go there and shout? That's not it. You must use your voice in a way it'll be heard. I want you to take this up. I want ten million children below sixteen, seventeen years of age to write to the Prime Minister that please save our soil because what we are using up is your soil. For our generation, before we die, there is enough. All we have to do is die, maybe die ten years early, we will be fine. But your soil is being used up. Soil that your generation should use is already being used up. If that happens, no matter how educated you are, how rich you are, how much wealth you have, how much knowledge you have, everything will be useless once there is food shortage. So, will you take this up? Not just you write, you must get me ten, ten million children in India to write to the Prime Minister, please do something about our soil. Can you? Yes. Ten million letters must go to the Prime Minister. Of course he's going to call me and complain, what am I supposed to do with all these letters? Enrich the soil. Paper can enrich the soil too, but I'm saying strong soil policies, if they don't come now, the future generations will suffer immensely, immensely. Not just humans, every life. If we don't do anything for another thirty to forty years and then we attempt it, turning it around will take hundred and fifty to two hundred years. Right now, if we start, in another fifteen to twenty-five years, we can turn this around significantly. I think we should make it happen. It's for you, for your generation. If you want to live well on this planet, this is most vital. Let us make it happen. Yeah, that's all it takes.